Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot, and today we're doing a reading for the collective. Let's see what your energy is right now for you. Collective, this is any of the zodiac signs can resonate with this reading. Mercury retrograde reinvented. So Mercury retrograde is um over, but it does uh maybe it's Pluto that dips back. One of the retrogrades is going to dip back around, and um this may be where for you that things are going in a not such a great manner right now. Maybe there's arguments and there's things going on as if Mercury retrograde was here. Um, we are in September for this reading and Mercury retrograde does show back up this year in a phase uh, closer to Sagittarius, I believe, season. So uh, I think that's October, November, something like that. Um, Sagittarius, yeah, November, December, sorry. And November, I thought it was in November, so it might be in Scorpio season, closer to the end of November. Anyways, um, number six here, so this is maybe something that needs to be restored, some balance that needs to be restored here. Maybe with a Virgo, uh, there's integrity, reverence, and service. Maybe you have Earth in your chart. And we have intuition, trust, patience, um, spirituality, and receptivity. And this is yin. This is Taurus, Cancer, Virgo, Scorpio, Capricorn, and Pisces. And this is all that feminine energy the, with the yin. So let's see what else we have. We have Aquarius, originality, philanthropy and progressive imaginings so being in that um, type of energy with the Aquarius here uh, it's almost like um not humanitarian house I know Aquarius it's almost like um this may have something to do Why am I getting that? I'm getting almost like um huh. some type of values or something coming through second house and owning. So maybe what you value, um material valuing? Valuing whatever is material here. I don't know what that's about. Uh, Pluto. Oh, okay. So maybe needing to transform this second house of owning things about what your material items are. And it may have to do with um, a feminine needing to transform those that you don't need to be in a relationship to have that security to do uh to be with a man because of money it may be because of love and maybe there's some type of what they own comes into play here for you now not everybody's going to resonate with this this may just be for some of these uh yins um now, this may be something that's coming back into your energy about when you're looking at a potential love interest. This could be where you are kind of looking at what you can get from this relationship or what you're needing. And it's the wrong reason to go into a relationship to begin with. It should be about love. It shouldn't be about what they have or own. Although... I'm sure you're looking for security in your life and what that person owns or has may be important to you, but Pluto needs you to transform this. Pluto is in retrograde at this point. Um, so that may be uh, wanting to hold on to somebody or feeling like something's missing or incomplete. So 
what obstacles are you having or coming through here in the near future? Same shit, different day. So maybe you just feel like it's the same old, same old repeating days are kind of blending into each other that it's like every other day. Uh, somebody might want to take away take away your ideas or steal your ideas, copies your work of some sort or capacity and and puts it off as if it's their own. They may duplicate things of yours. You might need to step into power, praise coming up spotlight, queen rising. So perhaps this yin needs to really take in the power that you actually hold, that you have that capacity to start your own business, make your own money. You don't need money uh, from others to have as a relationship of why you're being with somebody that they have money. Maybe you don't. Um, stepping into that power to make your own money so you're not relying on anyone else for money, that you have your own money and you're relying on self. It's not the right re reason to get into your relationship. So let's see what else comes through. Threatening, intimidating. This is all three of my readings that I've done today. I've had that threatening or bothering uh, energy coming through as an obstacle whether it's your energy or someone in your um, vicinity within your energy, uh, somebody that's close to you or friend or family member or sibling or whatever the case is, there's some intimidation or somebody that's bothering you. Let's see. We have stalker. Now, at this time, it was in reverse. So this person isn't stalking, watching, or obsessed with you yet, but it may end up coming to that at some point. Um, they may be getting to that point where it doesn't, uh, it's not the same just to threaten you. They may have to start watching you and and going home and following you home and and watching you and being obsessed with you and it may end up getting to that point and I feel like it's in reverse for a reason right now I feel like you may be getting messages from spirit or dreams or even telepathic messages about this that may be cautioning you we have time. Let time forget those scars. So you may be um, had some type of bullying when you were a child or maybe you're having these kind of um things coming up again for you rising up again that or resurfacing for you uh that needing time to kind of let this all go oh wow you have a twin flame coming in and i feel like this person may come in to help protect you they're going to have your back when it comes to whoever this is. And I feel like this is going to be a uh, divine timing of when this comes through for that reason of this not getting to an obsessive uh, point where once you meet somebody, this other person may stop trying to threaten you or have some type of issue. Allure, consider this situation carefully. Now, Maybe you're not sure of whether you should tell anybody about what's going on. Um, I feel like your person is going to be able to, yeah, recognize this. There's going to be some recognition here, um, the signs of these miracles. You're going to see these signs that this twin flame is coming in or that there's things or miracles coming through for you, when, especially when it comes to the situation. Yeah, love conquers everything, so it is a lot of love. And avoid the trap of mistaken fantasy for real soul connection. So it could be that this other person um, feels there is some connection with you, and this may be their illusion, um, or maybe it's your illusion that this person isn't who they say they are. Let's see here. Spirit, your spirit is about to be upgraded, uh, subliminated, which is into the next uh, class bracket, so uh, or tax bracket, if you will. So, getting into a higher status of uh, wealth or 
um, society, uh, getting into that higher class of uh, people that maybe think the same way you do. Yeah, there's that illusion again. So there is some type of an illusion when it comes to some type of obstacle. And there is always a way out when you're feeling lost or uh, in feeling like you're in a maze of someone's illusion here. I feel like whoever the stalker person is who hasn't actually started stalking you yet, hasn't come to that yet. I feel like this is spirit kind of saying there's always a way out. There's always a back door is what I say. Um, if there's a will, there's a way of finding a way out of something always. So having the, uh, I feel like having that connection is going to help you realize your options of which way to go. And that could be through spiritual, uh, reasons or okay so thinking about something quite clearly here carefully looking at something so and looking deep within your soul's purpose in your relationship and what is the purpose of this person that's come in here that is this obstacle and it may just be to throw this whole new thing coming in off kilter so you don't actually get together with your person you're meant to and you're going to see this deeply within yourself, I feel like you're going to realize this before it gets to any significant um, spot with this other person. Dreams. You share your dreams with this person. And you may even talk about your dreams that you're getting. And you're going to help each other to make them a reality or kind of encourage each other to make them a reality there's science here that is leading you to a true love so if you feel like it's somebody here this may be a karmic that is here to block something okay yeah there's definitely you may be thinking maybe there's some health issues here and uh doctors is coming up so there may be some health issues that you are going in for Maybe you are going to uh, go in for some tests or something. Uh, you're thinking about this. Uh, definitely, uh, that's 19. That breaks down to 10. So this may be coming to an end or nearing completion or end of a cycle. So a new door can open here, closing something out. The writing came in the upright. It's number 15 that is number six. This may be about riding forward uh, towards something or somebody's coming in for you. They're, they're galloping in. They're, so they are coming in quickly. And this may be reflected in your dreams. It may be that you are meant to uh, get moving on something. There may have something to do with books. Maybe you're meant to write a book. Maybe you are meant to um, read a certain book. Uh, maybe it has something to do with abilities or uh, some type of knowledge you mean, might need to gain here. And books is number 21. That breaks down to three, which has to do with creativity. So there may be some growth or some communication. You're meant to speak through a book in communicating and shouting. So. There may be a message you're meant to um, have going out at this time. And this may shatter everybody's perception of things by the book you produce. Now, it could also mean that your intuition is shouting at you, trying to get you to take off a certain mask of being authentic here. So number eight is maybe to step into that power of success. There's material abundance coming through or some type of action you're meant to take to achieve something. Let's see what your angels are going to come in and help you with. We have clear sentience, clear feeling. So you may have clear feelings. So this may be to help you um, get this gift or ability, uh, have you... Um, Really work on this ability to improve your uh, clairsentience your, and understand what it means for certain things that you're feeling, how you're meant to uh, tap into your intuition, maybe the way of opening this door. 
we have angel of good news. So there is an angel of good news coming in to help you with some thing that you've been hoping for. Some type of change with the number 14 breaks down to five. We have angel of manifestation. So manifesting something of your true self or wanting of for yourself here. Um, 34 breaks down to seven. And this has to do with reflecting on something or assessing or analyzing something, maybe on how to do something, maybe to do with manifest manifesting something in particular into your life. We have angel of creativity. So you may have angel coming in to help you with some type of creative process that you maybe want to do here. I feel like this is really going to help you um, maybe if that has been blocked at some point here, but they're going to help you change that. And we have Angel of Nature needing to get back out into nature uh, to connect and get grounded. Uh, I feel like this is to uh, ground yourself to the earth to really um, connect with spirit. Uh, <laughs> Claire Cognizance. So clearly... Um, <clears throat> clearly uh knowing something you may not know how you know you just know and you may have always known but maybe uh didn't always believe in yourself to know that you're knowing <laughs> i don't know that makes sense you may have doubted your knowing like is this me knowing is this um uh, messages from spirit of how I might know this information or why do I need to know this information or what does this information mean when you're when you're showing me these these signs or messages that I that I'm getting that I'm all knowing from so you may not understand how that works or why you're getting these messages or how they are meant to be brought forward Let's see what the outcome is here. Good luck. Well, it might be time to go and buy that lottery ticket. <laughs> For all those, you have some good luck coming out in your outcome here. And some type of justice. So you may have some uh, karma playing out on somebody that maybe treated you poorly in the past. Or you may just know the right thing to do when it comes to this good luck. like buying a lottery ticket so encourage that you have the courage and the bravery to do whatever is meant to happen here confidence you have that confidence and there's animals coming through here for you now maybe this is confidence in reading animals or understanding what the animal is needing at this time or what's plaguing this animal there may be some inspiration you have that you are inspiring others to go forward on here. And manifestations. It may be that you are needing to uh, voice how to manifest. Maybe you're meant to do some type of uh, videos or something on manifestations. Or whoever you are, there are gifts here or abilities that you're meant to tap into that maybe you haven't done so yet. And I feel like when you do, you may already know what's behind this person and how to deflect them becoming part of your world where you're able to uh, get away from this person in some capacity before it gets out of hand. I feel like there is some type of uh, intuition that is telling you what you need to do or why you need to go away from this person or how to get away from them and you're gonna kind of i feel like it's gonna be something that this person this person that's trying to have these obstacles in it maybe because they are having a hard time you are you are kind of um feel like you are a, a bright light to this person. So Pluto, we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So I feel like um, right now, whoever you are, 
you may be feeling overwhelmed emotionally or feeling emotional draining here. It may even be that you are being manipulated by somebody here. So I feel like there's uh, some type of depth coming to this. <laughs> yeah, I feel like you're going to um, become this queen of pentacles, maybe a business owner or come up with some really good idea that is going to keep you from this person uh, or away from whoever this is from doing something here. You're going to concentrate on what is good for you. You have that confidence, you're determined, you're self-assured. And I feel like this person isn't going to be able to come into that to have this manipulation. Uh, I feel like you're becoming aware of what you have, what you're going to do and what you're wanting in your life. I feel like there's some type of transformation that may even start here or stem here where you step into your power of becoming a business owner and you don't have the time for this person. I feel like you aren't going to give them the time of day. It's kind of what I'm getting with that. Tell me about spirit, this upgrade. Wow. You're going to get to that emperor status or your emperor is going to come in for you and help you with this situation. I like this because this is somebody you are, um, having that communication with in that telepathic manner you don't have the words you just know what they're feeling thinking or saying to you without them actually opening their mouth and using words you're reading their energy this twin flame that is pretty indicative of a twin flame is to have that type of energy uh, between the two of you you're on the same frequency to pick up each other's thoughts and we have science. So there's going to be a balancing out here of this, um, where you're going to be able to have this, uh, true love come in. You're going to have those signs come through and you're going to be able to balance this out. So they are able to, um, feel the same way or you feel the same way about them. There's a lot of love coming through on this. Oh, it may even be somebody you're yearning for. Now this could be, a past person, I suppose, or you're just yearning for somebody to have some type of sentimental value to you um, that maybe was from the past. And if it's not somebody from the past, it might just be somebody that you feel comfortable coming home to, having joyful memories with or making memories with. Not necessarily, maybe it's somebody from your past that you're thinking of, but it may not be who they are. Let's see, shouting, you're going to have the strength to become your authentic self. I feel like spirit's kind of saying to you, you know, you need to step into your power, step into who you need to be and write that book of whatever you're meant to do. You're meant to get moving on it with the writer here. And you're going to have uh, maybe having to do with your gifts. It may be a memoir. It may be about manifesting. It may be about how to come into this. You may be sad right now and just concentrating on all the wrong things about the, the cups that are no longer and not seeing the cups behind you. Having that loss or sadness, maybe even looking at the emotional baggage, there may be something you need to let go of that they're going to help you in order to get to this space that you're meant to be where you're in that um, achievement mode or feeling that contentness, those wishes are being fulfilled for you and stepping out of this sadness here. I feel like with this clear cognizance, this is going to be something that is going to open many different, uh, I'm getting um, views for you or like, um, a different mindset, a different way of things that you maybe hadn't thought of before. Yeah, there's going to be some type of celebration with uh, all of your abilities. You're going to have some great success with this. You're inspiring. There's some doing the right thing. You have the good luck here and the courage to manifest confidence. 
Wow, King of Swords. So there may be somebody coming in that is perfect for you. Your emperor is coming in as the King of Swords, somebody that is disciplined and serious about you, who is going to have that intellectual conversations with you um, that is, you know, has that reasonable uh, type of energy. They may have power of their own or authority here. Let's see. Wow. Definitely to leave a legacy here. Now, this may be what you're manifesting is to have that Ten of Pentacles, some emotional harmony with somebody where you're able to have some type of generational wealth that you leave for your children um, once you pass, or maybe you are gaining some inheritance or some type of property or legacy of your own from your parents. So um, maybe they're close to uh, passing that age of uh, getting up there in age. So now this could be your own generational wealth that you are creating for yourself. Um, let's see what your intuition is saying about this person, your emperor. Wow. So this may have been somebody that was a lover a long time ago for you. Um, they could have somebody in their energy, a third person here or a lover on the side. So let's just be careful of that. Let's see. Yeah, there may be some secrets here. What's your intuition saying about this? Mm, did you pick the right cop? They may be wondering about you on that. Now, if this is your emperor, they may be uh, needing to balance out somebody from their past. And it could be somebody that they were lovers with that maybe there's some type of internal conflict here or issues resurfacing regarding this person. Maybe it's this person here doesn't want you with the emperor that might be trying to stalk you um, because of this person. So take it however it resonates. The emperor could be you showing up in your um, emperor self. And even if you're feminine, you can show up in your masculine side and be taking uh, charge of your life. Or if this is your person giving you these messages. I feel like it, maybe it's this person here that's trying to create these issues. Um, maybe is their ex or somebody that was a lover to this person. Now, maybe they're not sure why this has ended or that they're trying to choose a new cup. They may be confused here. Uh, maybe why your emperor walked away from them. Okay, so let's just see here. I just want to, now that we've gotten that information, let's see what your intuition is saying about this person regarding your feelings. Now, this may have been why this has come through like that, is to kind of offer you some why this is going on the way this is, why this is happening. Could, to, could be to do with this emperor's ex. Maybe it's your ex. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, there's love here. So your intuition is saying that there is love here. And you need to have the courage that there may be somebody from their past that they need to balance something out with. Or maybe it's your past. Take it how it resonates. Let's look at their intuition about you. It's like coming home. It's like coming back to the home like as if you're a child getting home that sense of being coming home having your home and yeah we do have that this is going to be an issue here it looks like so yeah you're going to use your intuition though i feel like when it comes to this uh past person 
There's going to be uh, some intuition. You have that all knowing. You're going to, uh, I feel like you're going to intimidate this person in some way. Um, the only reason I say that is because you're going to have this all knowing of what this person's about, what they're thinking and what they're saying to other people. And you're going to shock the shit out of them. It's almost like you're going to say what they've been saying and say it out and have some prediction here about what's been happening and their mouth is going to hit the floor you may even scare this person uh from wanting to be having anything to do with you or the emperor because you have that all knowing and the clear feeling right the clear sentience and the clear knowing and i feel like you have that good news here that this person isn't going to come between you after all I feel like there's that clear cognizance, that all knowing, and uh, that feeling, clear feeling. So <laughs> I feel like you know what this person's about, and you may call them on it. Um, <laughs> I like this because it's going to shock this person to maybe walking away from this whole situation because you see right through them. And I don't think they like that. It may even spook them a little. But there is a lot of love between you and your emperor or you and your person. Maybe your person is this king of swords. Maybe you are the emperor. Take it however it resonates for you, okay? Because this is a general reading, of course, so it may not always resonate with you. All right. <laughs> collective this is what i have for you i hope you enjoyed your reading if you'd like to donate you can you can do it through the description box below or the dot 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 more is or you can do the super thanks or just watching the videos is so much thanks i appreciate all your likes all your donations and all your sharing it really does make a difference to the channel and if you really want to help the channel subscribe become part of the divine oracle tribe if you haven't done so already all right you guys take care stay blessed and we'll see you next time later